Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. We're going to be doing some uh, work around the church for Bible school, which starts uh, Monday um, at our church, Monday through Thursday. So if you have any kids that are close to Charity Free Will Baptist Church in Clarktown there, uh, get them ready, uh, bring them, or we will come and pick them up. Just contact me and we'll uh, get you set up with the van. Uh, I'm going to uh, to read to you today from Then Sings My Soul, 150 of the World's Greatest Hymn Stories. He Leadeth Me, 1862. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake, and that's Psalm 23, 3. On autumn nights, as we sleep peacefully in our beds, millions of songbirds travel under cover of darkness heading south. Somehow they know their way. God has given them a state-of-the-art internal guidance system. We're more valuable than many sparrows. If God guides his creation, will he not also guide his children? The psalmist thought so, saying, He leadeth me, he leadeth me. Psalm 23 two and three. Dr. Joseph H. Gilmore, son of a governor of New Hampshire, gave this account of writing his famous hymn on this theme. As a young man recently graduated, I was supplying for a couple of Sundays the pulpit of the First Baptist Church in Philadelphia. At the midweek service on the 26th of March, 1862, I set out to give the people an exposition on the 23rd Psalm, which I had given before on three or four occasions. This time I did not get further than the words, He leadeth me. Those words took hold of me as though they had never done before, and I saw in them a significance of which I had never dreamed. In the darkest hour of the Civil War, I did not refer to the fact, that is, I don't think I did, but it may subconsciously have led me to realize that God's leadership is the one significant fact in human experience that it makes no difference how we are led or whither we are led so long as we are sure God is leading us. At the close of the meeting, a few of us in the parlor of my host, Deacon Watson, kept on talking about the thought I had emphasized, and then and there on a blank page of the brief from which I had intended to speak, I penciled the hymn, talking and writing at the same time, then handed it to my wife and thought no more about it. She sent it to the Watchman and Reflector, a paper published in Boston, where it was first printed. I did not know until 1865 that my hymn had been set to music by William B. Bradbury. I went to Rochester to preach as a candidate for the Second Baptist Church. Going into their chapel, I picked up a hymnal to see what they were singing and opened it at my own. He leadeth me. So we'll give it a shot today. I've got a lot of guitars, but we're going to go without one today. He leadeth me, O blessed thought, O words with heavenly comfort brought. Where'er I do, where'er I be, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand, he leadeth me. His faithful follower I will be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Sometimes mid scenes of deepest gloom, sometimes where Eden's flowers bloom, by water still or troubled sea, 
tis his hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Lord, I would clasp thy hand in mine, nor ever murmur, nor repine. Content whatever lot I see, since tis my God that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. And when my task on earth is done, and when thy grace the victory's won, in death's cold wave I will not flee, since God through Jordan leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, we've made mention of Bible school and how in two days we are expected to begin on Monday evening Bible school, on Friday evening our jam at the church, on Saturday uh, our intent is uh, to have a gospel group come and sing. But we're not even sure we're going to make it through the night. But God, one thing we can be sure of, that you lead us, and wherever it is you lead us, if you lead us to next week, if you lead us home tonight, God, help us to follow you. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Uh, if you watch tomorrow, of course, tomorrow morning I'll be preaching, or um, I suppose I will. Uh, be preaching at our church there at Charity. And then uh, Sunday evening, Brother Chris Priest will be preaching for us. God bless you all. Have a great Saturday.